Ah yes, the Hytale beta, the thing that everyone is waiting for. If you clicked on this video, I'm sorry it's not out yet, but while it's not out, we can speculate about what it will be like. So let's get right into it. What's up guys, it's me Thween, welcome back to another video. Now before this video starts, I just want to say hello, my name is Thuitup, I've been covering Hytale pretty much since the game was announced. So if you're interested in Hytale at all, be sure to subscribe and you know, hit the bell if you're a real one. Today we're going to be answering three questions. Who, what, and when. Starting for the who, who is going to be able to play the beta? Well, first of all, obviously there's the people who signed up for it when the game was announced, like me. I'm sure they're probably not going to want everyone who signed up to go in at once. There's probably millions of people who did that, so they're probably going to stagger their releases. But unlike with the CS2 beta, where they can kind of pick with metrics like playtime and workshop contributions, all we have really is time since announcement. And I'm sure most people who signed up for the beta probably signed up for the beta when the trailer came out. So picking people based on how early they signed up for the beta probably won't work very well. I'm sure if they do have to stagger people who are entered, it probably will be random. But at the same time, a quite a little known fact about Hytale is that there is a content creator program. In one of the FAQs they published, they answered a long list of questions about content creators, like, will there be a content creator program? And they said yes, so they may or may not use that system to kind of let people in early and kind of play test the game. Hypixel, if you're watching, hi. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say about that. Now, what about what the game will be? In my opinion, pure speculation, I think the Hytale beta is going to feature the entire adventure mode and Hypixel's own servers. I don't think it will feature the mod tools and third-party server support for a couple reasons. Those reasons pretty much being that since it's a beta, community-created content in the form of mods or custom servers may or may not transfer between beta or release. While I do think it is important for creators to learn the tools before the game comes out, there is still a large chance that any Anything they make won't be carried over. So if people start massive projects, they'll have to completely remake them from scratch when the game actually comes out. So Hypixel could go two ways with third-party servers and mod support. They could either enable mods, but mods created won't transfer to the live game. This lets people get used to the tools so they are ready when the game comes out, but what they make won't be saved, so they won't be able to really make any massive or huge stuff right off the bat. And with servers, I honestly don't think there will be third-party servers at all during the beta. Beta might be a great time to prepare creating those servers servers for the full release so you know the tools but any progress you make towards creating a server in the beta period I don't think will be saved. But then again, this is just me talking. Hypixel can honestly do whatever they want. Maybe it will be possible for mods to transfer to live from the beta. I don't know. Now, the big question, the one everyone wants to know, when? Let's go back to the last blog post, June 2022. Let's take a look at the specific word they used. Hytale will not be ready to launch. Now launch suggests to me that the game is finished, so a beta could honestly come before then. If the game isn't fully finished, one way they could get it into the player's hands as fast as possible is through a beta. But at the same time, people who have been waiting for ages might not be happy if the game they've been waiting for for over five years is full of bugs. But the fact that we got another official Hytale delay doesn't actually rule out that a beta couldn't come this year. While I personally think that is quite unlikely, I don't think it's completely unplausible. But one thing I do think that could happen is a closed beta under NDA for content creators and stuff like that. They could open up the content creator program, get a ton of applicants, and they could play test the game, kind of like a review period for how most games do it. I also think the beta will come probably quite soon after a big announcement. Hytale doesn't want to generate massive amounts of hype and trail off again. I'm sure they want to capitalize on a big boom really, really quickly. So having a beta probably a few weeks or a month after a big announcement would probably be huge. Hey, all I'm gonna say is E3 is coming up. I know that's so goddamn optimistic, but with their wording in their last blog post, it is at least infantesim Infan infantesimally plausible. But in my opinion, I think an announcement is probably going to come sometime at the end of this year, and I'm still being optimistic there. My full timeline announcement to beta is there being an announcement either late 2023 or early 2024, and the game being playable, beta or release, in mid-2024. But these are just all the opinions of someone who's been waiting for Hytale for five goddamn years. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. If you got this far, just hit that subscribe button. You'll pretty like all my other videos and tap out. Peace. Thanks for watching.